Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. Now that's how you deal with pirates. Captain comes up, grabs him by the scruff of the neck, says, hey son, and gives him a smackdown. Let's go. We ask the government and the people of Britain and our families to do whatever you can to at least open negotiations with these people about money so that perhaps our lives can be brought back. We are also concerned that these people will lose patience and will not feed us. And well, they're going to lose patience and they're not going to feed you. It's all about the case, right, bro? The Somali pirates, whether you think it's overfishing of the waters, whatever the case may be, countries around the world have dumped billions into Somalia, including the U.S. There's a problem bigger than we can understand. And is it our problem? If you get on a ship on a humanitarian mission, you get taken captive. I don't know if it's worth spending millions of dollars to get you. My personal two cents. Let's keep moving. So that's how you avoid getting taken captive, right? You have a well-armed ship. You're going into the ocean. You need some kind of armament to keep the pirates away. The Marines, historically, for example, are used to put on ships to guard the ships. It's been around a long time. Now we've got a little bit soft. We think these are nice people. They just want help. They want to steal your stuff and make money. They don't care about you or your crew or whatever else. That costs you, the consumer, a lot. Let's keep moving. Ouch. You almost have to set the example, right? You have to have a ship that was sent out, a pirate ship. <laughs> they don't come back now i wonder question for you guys if you're the head pirate do you have a loss figured into the equation so hey i'm gonna lose two out of ten ships no biggie i'll get another somali to run the next boat that looks like a nice boat they probably stole it from someone i'm sure they didn't build this boat and it's part of the it's a business loss a business write-off right So as you can see, there's more than one way to skin the cat, as they call it. Got some little underwater demo. Got a 50 cal. That's the avoidance, right? And we're going to get to what happens when the ship get. We're going to we're going to get to what happens when the ship gets taken over by the bad guys. Who do you send in? SEAL Team 27. Do you send in the SAS? Not a terribly complicated operation. Remember now. It's like fighting in the desert. We're dealing with pretty unequipped, unsophisticated people. These Somali pirates have probably shot an AK-47 in the desert at a tree stump. That's about it. Let's keep moving. Now it's nice to see when they have their hands up, right? But now you got to take them. You got to arrest them. You got to feed them. You got to give them something for their diarrhea. Gets complicated. Only way to deal with this, though, is to avoid it. Until you get to the Somali pirate takedown. They send the Marines in to get the Somali pirates. Body cams, of course, which means you got to be on your best behavior. Now, you know these young devil dogs are getting the rocks off in this job. They've trained for it so many times. I think this is like 
the NBA team playing against the JV. They don't have the same equipment, the same training, but that JV team has no rules. There's no foul count. They can foul as much as they want. We've got a certain amount of fouls we're allowed to have until we get taken out of the game. You know what I mean? They are the capable for maritime raid type operations you can get. We've got lots of different troops, it seems like, that perform this. Marines, Navy, like every branch is trying to have some sort of maritime component. You saw the Rangers, another video, hit the beachhead and attack the beach like a company of Marines coming in. So I think this traditionally was a Marine Corps operation. SEALs got one to get their part of the pie and play in this, this game. Let's watch the Marines get after it. Yeah, normally when you come in, if you've got NVGs on or not, and there's a dot on them, or they feel an M4 pointed towards somebody, usually it's the sign you better get down. Universal language, right? Universal language to get your ass down is when I'm pointing a firearm at you. You go, ooh. This guy means business. Maybe I should get on my face. It took them five hours to get the ship's crew out of the Citadel. So the Marines actually drilled a hole in the wall, put a uh, U.S. flag through that hole to prove that, yes, we were the good guys. So you got to have a group of guys that are equipped for this mission. To bring a said drill or torch in, to get a hole through the wall, to get the door open. Not an easy task, mind you, once they're in there. And no one wants to be the force that doesn't decide to negotiate or do something. And then you have a hostage killed, right? Normally, it's don't negotiate with hostages. This one tends to be a little different. A lot of the companies will say, hey, I'll pay your your toll, you know, your troll toll, get my ship back because they want the cargo. Well, working together seems to be a thing. The allies in the U.S. are just not good at on these ships. Everyone's got a different reason why the pirates are there. The waters are overfished. But before the international groups, such as the Chinese, came in there and fished the shit out of the waters, these people were still living in squalor, unfortunately. And piracy is a cheap game. And there's still dozens of ships out there anchored waiting for ransom money where the government doesn't have the means to come get them. Bad problem to have. Thanks for watching.